Hi there, this is Stacy Phillips and this is my video log for February 27th. It's Thursday of 2014. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what I call changing the middle. And it's not really what I call it. I sort of borrowed it from a book that I've read this year. Um, this year as, as I've striven to attain and maintain optimal health. Um, part of that for me is increasing my, um, what, what is termed emotional intelligence. And um, so I've been doing a lot of reading, um, a lot of books, wonderful books out there. One of the books that I've been reading lately, I want to give credit where credit is due. It's called Habits, um, and it's in a yellow, um, it's in a yellow jacket, book jacket. It says Habits, and then colon, it says Why We Do What We Do in Our Professional and Personal Life. And um, I, I can't think of the author right this moment, but if you Google it, you can find the author. But it's 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 very interesting book because what it talks about, it talks about the neural pathways and things between um, our our behaviors, our habits, and and our basically through our lives. And and how do people actually change? How do they fundamentally change their habits? And for me, in my quest to 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 basically produce and promote habits of health um, in healthy, you know, getting, getting healthy, um, I have uh, really been studying habits and the, how do we make habits? How do we change habits? How do we break habits? You know, what, how do we harness the power of habit and use that in our lives to attain what we want instead of feeling like we are a slave to our unhealthy habits where that always take us where to what we don't want. So one of my my personal um, areas of, of growth and <laughs> my areas of personal growth um, this year and, and while I'm in maintenance is that I do I love and I don't know why this is but I love you know the 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 image of the person in Europe you know going to a little farmers market and buying their fruits and their vegetables and their little baguette and a little bottle of wine and a little cheese and a little bit of flowers and, you know, cycling home on their bicycle or their scooter. I do have a pink Vespa. Um, I love that image of, of just, you know, daily shopping, wholesome living, um, sim simplicity. And um, now that I'm in maintenance, I have been able to reintroduce red wine into my, um, my maintenance program. But what I found is that as I'm training for this marathon, it's becoming the, the red wine is becoming a distraction actually to to my goals. So it, it's got to go. <laughs> you know, that's just it. I uh, this this is what I want, and so therefore this is seems to be a distraction or keeping me from this. So this has to go. But one of the benefits that I love, you know, I I just love buying a bottle of wine. You know, being in. Um, uh, Trader Joe's or um, Costco or Sprouts or you know some place and seeing seeing a under ten because I'm kind of a I'm kind of an under ten red wine lady I don't buy any bottle of wine that's over ten dollars I know I know any of you who are you know red wine connoisseurs I'm I'm just really budget conscious so I I look for very good very drinkable um, red wine to have with dinner um, a couple times a week so. Um, anyway, back to my story. I, I love just the feeling of, of buying a bottle of wine, you know, in, in the store. I just feel very, you know, European or French or whatever, even though I'm, I'm neither. I'm basically Irish, mostly, almost 100%. So they're not really Europe, Europe, European. Irish is a little different, a little different, but I like to feel that way. And so one of my habits, um, if you look at that in terms of what this book would say about, okay, how do I, I'm in a habit of buying a bottle of red wine because I like the way I feel after I bought the, the, the bottle of wine, and I like the way I feel when I have a glass of wine with dinner, etc., etc. So right now, with my marathon a month away, how do I very quickly and painlessly stop that behavior or change that behavior because it's not, it's not bringing me closer to my goal? So, um, you know, how do I do that without... Um, a massive amount of frustration and angst and feelings of deprivation. Well, I'll tell you what this book said, and it works. So um, basically, you have a cue, and usually habits are things that we have developed through the years in response to, to a cue or a trigger, and then we are seeking a reward, something that we 
experience, whether a feeling, an emotion, uh, I guess those are the same things, um, whatever the whatever the reward is in in from the queue, we want the reward, therefore we do the middle part, which gives us this reward that we're seeking. So, you know, over time we develop these habits and sometimes the, uh, the, 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 the circumstances in our lives that have necessitated us developing habits, say habits of disease that we don't want anymore, sometimes the circumstances that necessitated us developing those habits as a coping mechanism don't even exist anymore, but we still have the habit. So that's why people think, you know, comfort food and things like that. Um, that's something that usually they would probably develop in early childhood, adolescence or college. And it's just a habit now. So um, anyway, so, okay, so I go to the store. My cue is I'm at the store. I want to, and then I think, oh, I'm in the, in the red wine aisle and I see the bottles and this and that. And I think, oh, I want to feel very European today. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying it makes sense. I'm just saying that this is the inner workings of my brain right now. So my middle part um, in the past would be going ahead and buying the bottle and bringing it home and probably opening it up for dinner or sharing it with my husband, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, to get the reward, the cue, which is really almost just buying the wine. I just feel, I just love to feel like I'm, you know, Parisian or I don't know. Now I'm starting to feel like a big, big broad, actually. <laughs> I'm an American. But, um, Anyway, so the middle part for me was that feeling, that feeling of doing something special for myself um, that, that was sort of cosmopolitan or, you know, um, just something I did. So what I did was then what the book would say is, look, the, the, the cues are fine and the reward is fine about seeking. There's nothing, you know, more, some of the morally neutral. There's, it's not like a good or bad. It's not good to feel that way, bad to feel that way. It's just how you feel. But if you can change the middle, you know, that which actually the behavior that actually gave you the reward from the cue, after the cue, if you can change the middle, that's, you know, exactly, that would be wonderful. You know, there goes your, your habit that you wanted to get rid of, that behavior that you didn't want to do anymore. You know, you're not focusing on not doing that. I, I, so what I did is today, Trader Joe's, you see these beautiful flowers. I'm, it's probably easier to move you than move the flowers. Um, these are beautiful flowers, you know, ger um, Gerbers and Hydrangeas, and they're just gorgeous. And they're, I mean, look at the color on those. It's just, I mean, I've never seen a, a more beautiful fuchsia and red and gold and, oh, I love it. So, so, um, at Trader Joe's today, I said, hey, I want to do something, buy something really nice for myself that'll make me feel good and special and and so, and, and I, and I stayed out of the wine section and I, and I bought a bunch of flowers and I realized, you know, this is actually what the book is talking about, change the middle. And so when I got home, I, you know, ran them under, under water and I put them in the vase and they make me, they made me feel good all day. And I'm still staying true to what I want to accomplish, which is my training for my marathon. So, um, so yeah, I highly recommend that book. It's called Habits. I highly recommend getting it and reading it. Maybe something will stand out to you as far as how do we, you know, how do we change our habits from habits of disease to habits of health. And there's so many awesome resources out there to do that. And I am a free certified health coach. So um, if anything I've said is useful to you today, um, feel free to contact me at stacymichellephillips at gmail.com. That's S-T-A-C-Y-M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S at gmail.com, and I can help you on the path to optimal health. So I'm a free certified health coach, and I would love nothing more. It's my passion to help people achieve optimal health in their lives. Now, just as a side note, if you already do have a free health coach um, with our program, please reconnect with them, and they will be more than happy to help you as well. So thank you so much, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.